One of the most overlooked things about designing an interior space is the interior glass wall systems. And they can be intimidating because they are an interior product, but they are borderline an architectural element. And so there's a lot of detailing and construction knowledge that needs to go into selecting the right one. But the good news is I am here with a good friend to break down interior glass wall systems for you. So stay tuned. Hi, my name is Kelsey and I am the founder and creative director of Kelsey, a full service interior design firm specializing in small and boutique style businesses. Welcome to our design series where we help educate designers and clients about all things commercial interior design. If you're new to our channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button, follow us on Instagram, and check out our website at www.klsy.design where you can sign up for our newsletter. In that, you'll receive access to project updates, industry insights, more educational content, and you can also have access to our cheat sheets. These are free printable PDFs that you as a designer can have on hand to quickly reference. The only way that you can access this is by signing up for our email newsletter, so I will leave the details to that in the description box below. Today, I'm joined by my good friend Alex to talk about interior wall systems, the different types, important things to know and specifying them as a designer, and some common questions that she gets from both designers and clients. Alex, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Cheers. This should be fun. So Alex, tell me a little bit about you and about Infinium Walls. Absolutely. Infinium is a demountable glass wall manufacturer. We're located in Cleveland, Ohio, in case you couldn't tell by my accent. We are a direct manufacturer, so that means that we provide products, which includes system and doors, deliver and install all under one roof. So Infinium will come in with our own project managers, field operations team, and oversee a project from VIFs, which are verified in-field measures shop drawings, through delivery, installation, all the way through final punch, which is very different than a lot of other manufacturers, which will have furniture dealers or some, someone in between the manufacturer and the end user. Infinium is direct to the end user. We want to be experts in what we do. We're very proud of what we do, um, and all we do is glass walls. Right now, we're sitting at Urban Office, who's been our partner for 20 years since we started. There are architectural product rep here in the city um, and also a beautiful showroom. So day to day, I work out of Urban Office, but I am direct with Infinium. So being a US manufacturer, especially post COVID is a huge, huge deal. Before we get into any details of interior glass wall systems, why is it important that designers be well-versed in this topic in general? Um, I would say that's probably a multi-layered question, but demountable glass walls are typically a long lead time item as well as something that's more on the construction side of things. So they're discussed very early on in the process. Typically they're discussed way before a manufacturer is even brought into the fold. So to build a designer's or an architect's credibility, just a high level understanding of questions to be asking the client or you know what their overall design intent for a space keeping in mind the glass wall systems. I would also imagine that this is a higher priced item, like a higher ticket item. So getting the wall systems right is gonna be really important to the client and the entire project. Right, which that ties into doing the drawings and the specifications correctly up front. And just, to, you don't have to be an expert in it by any means, but the knowledge that goes in behind that. So once it comes out to bid, we are providing exactly what is desired on the other side with the client and the A&D community. And I feel like anytime you as a designer can come with knowledge of details and architecture and construction that not only helps the project but it makes you look really good it makes as you a look designer. like a rock star because by the time you get to the manufacturer side the clients already has a baseline and then they're asking me the questions instead of facilitating through the A&D. So they already have that knowledge from you, makes you look like a rock star in their eyes, and then they're coming to me asking A, B, and C, and then we can kind of build upon that. Let's go through the different types of wall systems. Okay. What are they? Typically with a glass wall system, you're gonna deal with something either unitized, which means it's captured on all four sides, or something butt glazed, which means at the glass to glass joint, it's just glass meeting glass. Um, they're going to vary in single or double glaze, one piece of glass or two pieces of glass. It's really something that's going to be budget driven or aesthetic driven at the end of the day. If you want something when you're looking down a long run of a corridor side, if you want to see a mullion at the glass to glass joint, that's a unitized system. 
If you want maximum transparency, that would be a butt glaze system. Okay, so the difference really is lying in the mullions, the thickness, whether they're there or not, and connecting them. Correct. Typically, I mean, in the industry, a butt glaze system is going to be very thin, minimalistic profile of the actual aluminum with it. If it's unitized, it's, it's a heavier looking system, much more industrial looking, but you know, it provides its own benefits of high STC or bigger tolerance once on site. You just mentioned STC. I've heard that word before. <laughs> I know what it means, but I'm going to let you as the expert tell us what is STC. By no means am I an expert. That would be an <laughs> acoustician that's often on a project, but for my own products, STC stands for sound transmission class, which is really just important to the end user. Once something is installed, and they're sitting in their office, what can they hear? So it has to do a lot with the surrounding elements as well, but with the glass wall system, it's about the channels, it's about the acoustic gasketing, it's about the glass thickness, it's about the door type. With a system, rule of thumb is that your door is gonna be your weakest point with the STC. That's somewhere where maybe at the wall system we can you know, do a single glaze system, but at the door we beef it up. Because you, you don't have that connection point, there's an opening in there. Correct. Wherever there's an opening, there's gonna be sound transmission. Correct, exactly. It's not a completely enclosed system. It's something moving. So you mentioned that there's a lot of different benefits or a lot of different things that you're looking for when selecting the type of system. Mm -hmm. So when you're using a Buckley system, you're gonna have a lower STC rating and you're gonna have a more modern, minimalistic look. Is that correct? Um, yes and no. There is definitely gonna be a more modern, minimalistic look. You can achieve a higher STC rating with it by double glazing it. Systems have their own pros and cons. With a butt glaze system, single glazing, no big deal. We come in, we glaze it. A double glaze system, it's like single glazing it twice. So there's no getting past keeping that interior channel perfectly clean on a working job site. That increases price, but it doesn't necessarily increase lead time. It just increases installation lead time. But if you do a unitized system, it's factory glazed. So it's shipped to site already glazed. So those panels just need to stand up. They're giving you your maximum STC. Um, and then the installation of it is a, is a breeze because we're absorbing it all in the factory. The Buckley system, there's no getting around that since you have to do everything in field. What are some common questions that you get from clients and designers? I would say the first one is always, what is your lead time? Um, what is your lead time? <laughs> four to six weeks after VIFs and approved shop drawings. So what does that mean? VIF measurements, which a lot of other manufacturers don't do, Infinium directly will come to site once the job site is ready for us to measure. So it's typically not to hold two dimensions, it's once everything is framed and the drywall is up. We will come measure everything, measure every door. On a project, every piece of glass and every door is probably going to be a different size, and that's all due to the floor variance as well. And then approved shop drawings, once we have those VIFs, our project engineers and our AutoCAD experts can go ahead and um, generate shop drawings for the project. And those typically take five to seven business days to do, but we need the VIFs in order to do the shop drawings. And then those go back to the A&D community to get approved. So it's a little bit different than ordering, let's say a piece of furniture where you can order it as soon as construction starts and it comes in. Whereas these wall systems, you need to be in construction already. You need to have the wall ready to receive that wall system so that Infinium can come in and measure and, and get it really exact. Another common question that we get often is about finish capabilities. Typically in the glass wall world, you can anodize from clear to black or you can paint match. We have our in-house paint booth, so we don't have to outsource paint. So it's not gonna impact lead time and it's not gonna impact price. And we can custom REL paint match any color. With anodizing, you typically have to outsource that. In today's world of lead, well, and sustainability, Painting is much more preferred to meet all of those requirements lately. Um, and day two, if I need to come in and touch something up, painting is much easier. If it's anodized product, I'm going to have to take down the system and provide new product. So in order to keep costs down, keep lead time the same, and you get all of the sustainability checked off and you know day two possibilities for touch up, painting is typically the way to go. I love painting, <laughs> clearly. Are you gonna come in with your mini paintbrush when I order I an have Infinium wall? I have known and... to get my Bob Ross on. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about hardware. What are the different kinds of hardware that you can select? Typically in the glass wall world, we're talking about ladder poles or lever lock sets. I've never 
personally dealt with any other specification besides those two. But you can get different lengths, locking ladder poles, non-locking ladder poles, same with lever lock sets. It's all dependent on the door you want to specify. So all glass, frameless, single glaze framed, double glaze framed, or wood door. And then the functionality of all. Wood door. Wood door. That sounds like it's so sexy. It's very nice, especially with a little side light next to it of wood to keep. It's, it's a nice look down a corridor, everything closed. Can you walk me through exactly what the process is that a designer would go in to specify an interior glass wall system? Absolutely. So, I mean, a lot of it is partnering with a friend in the industry, a glass wall expert, as they say, just to, you know, bounce things off of. But typically it's educating the client up front, getting their buy-in for what they want. And then it's technical aspect is putting, calling me, getting our AutoCADs or our Revit files to put them in a drawing set and then doing a full specification. And I can't stress that enough because at the end of the day, once the drawings come out to bid, I'm contractually obligated to price off of what's on those drawing sets. So it doesn't matter what conversations we had up front, I have to do what's in those and just, you know. If it's not on the drawing, it doesn't exist. Yeah, exactly. Write a specification, send it to your manufacturer friend and have them proofread it and make sure it's exactly what you discussed and put it in the drawing set. And then hopefully I get a call from a GC somewhere down the line saying, Alex Gaffney was in the drawing set for Kelsey's project. Put your walls You're in it. You're always going to be in my drawing set. <laughs> I have a client and I would call you and say, Alex, I have this client and we're looking to install some glass wall systems. You can help me out with the look and feel like, hey, I'm looking for something that is a little bit more industrial looking. Mm -hmm. What would you recommend? Exactly. That kind of like how we would work off of each right. other. You're an expert on the layout of the space. And then I'm an expert on how I can get you there in the client's budget parameters. I feel like designers, don't really utilize their reps as much as they should. I mean, we're doing this because we, you know, are trying to educate designers and also clients about all of the nuances and all the different products and, and just everything that goes into commercial design. But in reality, we can't know everything. Right. We need to come to you guys because you guys are quote unquote experts. I know right. you said you're not an expert, but in my eyes, you are an expert at this all of this. That's all I know. Because <laughs> you do it day in and day out. So right. no one knows this product better than you. So exactly. utilizing you is really the best way that you can get a really fantastic end product. I think a high level understanding of everything that goes into it to educate a client because you'll be the front lines of it and then just come to us immediately and we'll figure it out. Amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. So Thank you for having me. You're welcome. <laughs> if people want to ask some questions or they want to find their local rep to ask their local rep any questions or specify a product, how can they do that? Head to the manufacturer's website, go to their contact page for Infinium, go to infiniumwalls.com, contacts, find my big head on the website, <laughs> and emails and phone numbers are all listed. With Infinium, we're very uh, responsive either way, but I bet email would be best. Thank you so much to Alex and Infinium Walls for collaborating on this video with us. If you want to be notified when we post our next video, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the little notification bell down below. Also, let us know down in the comments what topics you want to hear about next or what kind of products or industry insights you want to hear more about. And we'll, we'll make that video. Absolutely. Also, don't forget to go to our website, www.klsy.design to sign up for our newsletter and get the that cheat sheet, I said like a, an Ohio accent there. That, She's learning. That, <laughs> sign up for our newsletter and you can have access to our cheat sheet to go along with this video so you guys can have a quick reference of Interior Glass Wall Systems 101. Woo! And we'll see you next time. Cheers! Thanks for watching. <laughs>